Welcome to Melissa Valentine's Nursery. My name is Melissa and today I am here with my little sugar booger. It's my little sugar booger. I don't ever say that. It just come out. Oh, wow. My accent said just come out. It just come out. Welcome, you guys. Welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Melissa, if you don't know me. And this little bunker right here is Missy. Yes, she is. Um, She is the lamb kit sculpt everybody knows uh, <clears throat> she is my amazon beauty um i made her oh man i made her a girl and she dropped her elf from her boyfriend <laughs> this elf came from my boyfriend in washington <laughs> she yeah she got a friend in washington so but anyway i wanted to get on here because i thought i needed a little like I went to work today and, you know, sometimes there's good days and sometimes there's bad days. And I feel like I have a tendency to share the bad ones with you. But truly, truly, there are good days. <laughs> I promise. Um, I, I need to take pictures. I need to get a pumpkin. I need to get a pumpkin and I need to take little photos of her because she would look so good. Somebody said that pu she would look good in a, like a pumpkin patch photo thing I gotta do that she's so cute um you know it feels good to make a video um and guess what my roof is tarped um I did a little networking I had to go outside of my my um what is it called when when the insurance company has you go through their people I was like mm, they were mean to me and they didn't follow through and so I went through somebody else, um, went through some connections and it's all working out. It's all working out. I was, let me tell you what I did. <laughs> I had fallen asleep. I took some Benadryl. I took like two. You guys remember, I have a high tolerance for sleeping medicine because I've been on sleeping medicine like most of my life. So I took a little, I took a little Benadryl and I took a few swigs of Jägermeister and I went to sleep and all of a sudden I hear the doorbell. And I'm like, nah, I'm not getting that. It could be like salesman or, you know, sometimes a Jehovah Witness come around here. And I was like, nah, my dog was going nuts. And I was like, I'm ignoring it. And all of a sudden, I hear above me, boom, boom, boom. Okay, that's got to be the roofman, the roofman. So I went out there and I had my nightgown on. Everything hanging out. My bedroom slippers. My bedroom shoes, whatever they're called. And I went out my front porch and I seen the guy and I was like, hey, I don't answer my door for anybody during the day because I work third shift. And I was like, but then I heard the noise. And that's good. I said, you need me for anything? He said, no, I'm good. Thank you, ma'am. I said, all right, I'm going to bed. So I went back to bed. But, um, so that's good. Progress. And I'm just waiting on my insurance adjuster to come to look and see what, what it is, what's going on. And then I'm going to go from there. See what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, all right, you guys. So let me tell you what happened. This is something else. This is baby related now. You know, let me get my little bunker. Um, I love this one and she's so cute. In fact, I actually sleep with my replicas. Um, I don't usually, I'll lay my reborns in bed with me, but my replicas are the ones that like get loved and played with a lot. And, you know, I've taken this one camping too many times to count um her and her bell bottom she's ready she's ready for the she's ready for it all you guys she's ready for the fall but she also has her naughty elfie her naughty elfie here all right and i didn't read it last time but she had um she has she had a note when she had got that from danny and i didn't share it last time so you know basically it says because they color that her coloring looks good and um that it was from her secret crush, Elfie. But we know who the crush is. We know who that crush is. All right, so let me show you what I got. Let me let me show you what I got. Um, give me a minute. Give me a minute, you guys. Work with me here, okay? I just come home from work and everything. All right, so I want you guys to meet my little prematurely born. He was born a little early, you guys. You know, um, he was born a little early, so he's a little tiny bunker. Um, he's got the softest hair um, and his eyes come in and out. I left the eyes in, but I'm going to tell you, 
Next time I take them out, they're staying out because they were a pita to put in. So this right here, if you have not met him, I, I was going to name him Tiny Tim and all sorts of things, but he is Felix. Um, he's got his eyes wide open right now. He's looking at you like, oh, I just want to sleep. I just want to sleep. So the problem with Felix is he's 13 inches. He was born early. We had problems. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, we had problems in the pregnancy and he had to come out early. So, um, you know, and he's very fragile. Um, he's doing very well, though. He does have an appetite and um, he, he, he never cries. He never cries. He's a healthy little boy. Um, and he's doing well, you know, I mean, he don't even need an incubator. He don't have to, you know, he's not jaundice or nothing, right? So that's good. But, so anyway, I didn't have a passy or a bottle that was good for his mouth. Didn't fit this, the little lips. So I went to Etsy. Now I have before used this lady. I need you guys' help because on Etsy, it's called the Reborn Accessory Shop, okay? And she had these type of bottles for the bigger babies, which I still have and I love and adore. I love these. I have two of these. Um, you have to shake them up and you, got, you can't put them in the sun or they go bad. So my milk's turned a little, but it's not clumpy and I think it's great for photos, okay? But I noticed for much littler babies, smaller babies, she has smaller the things, the things for the babies, right? So I took a chance and I actually um, found she has a set. I don't know what, what I paid. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I don't know what I paid. Okay. The accessory shop. And she's, it's, she's, a, good, she's a good shop. I've, I've bought from her, you know, never had a bad experience. However, Joseph usually opens my mail. I tell him, Joseph, as long as it's not junk mail, just throw the junk mail out and leave everything else for me. I don't care. Packages you can open, but I tell them if there's a warning, like if there's if this certain name on the package, don't open it. Could be for Christmas or whatever. But other than that, I let him open my packages. He, it helps me. You know what I'm saying? It gives me a break. Joe, open the package, open in the mail. You could tell if it's a bill versus whatever, right? Okay. I mean, he's 18. He's got to learn this shit. All right. So anyway, the accessory shop I got, it came in this little bag, right? I already opened, well, Joey opened up the package and I had everything in here. And last night I seen it, but the problem was it was leaking. So I'm going to show you. It came with a little diaper. It wasn't leaking a lot. It was just a little at the bottom of the bag. But it's these little pampers. It's P3. Like P3. And it's like perfect. I don't even know where you get a pamper P3 from. Where do you get? Is that what that says? You guys, I'm blind. 6S Pampers P3. Premature 3. I don't know. Okay. And then it came with... It came with this pacifier here. Let me take it out. Hold on. I have to put him down somewhere. He is cute. I like him. He's not everybody's cup of tea, but he's my cup of tea. So, let me see. It comes with this little passy hole, which is great. Because, like, it, it it's a one ounce... I don't know, maybe it looks like, it kind of reminds me of what used to hold the film in the 90s for like your cameras and stuff. But it's a little passy. Golly, can we get it? Can we get it, you guys? Can we get it? Oh, come on. All right, anyway, it's cute. It's a little passy. Ay, 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 maron. Anyway, and it feels like a little rubber, okay? So I'm gonna try to put this in his mouth. Let me get a little lube. Sometimes you gotta lube it up. Hold on. All right, hold on. I don't know what I did with it. What did I do with his lubrication stuff? I put all his stuff. Um, shoot, what did I do with it? I had put all his stuff together. Oh, 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 okay, it's in this drawer. But I don't know why I would put it in the drawer because it was half open. I don't know. We're going to shoot for it. We're going to try to just do it. We're going to go for it. I just don't know what I did. Why would I do? Why would I hide my stuff from myself? We're going to, we're going to try. We're going to try without hurting him. Cause he needs, a, he hasn't had nothing in, you know, I don't know. Maybe he was tube fed. I don't know. 
All right, let's try this without hurting him. <gasps> Hold on. I thought I had it, but he spit it right back out like he don't like it. Take this plastic fire, please. Oh, come on. Take it. I know it'll, it fits in his mouth, but he keeps spitting it out. Hold on. We're going to make it work. I think it's working. Barely. I think if I had lube, it would work better. And I don't want to ruin him. But look at that. See how it's like barely in his mouth? But it really is fitting for him. Oh, oh, I did it. It's in there. <gasps> oh my God, I have to get more. You guys, I don't, so her shop closed down on Etsy. Look at this, this is perfect for him. <gasps> oh my God, if you guys have a 13 inch little bunker, this is a perfect passy for him. <gasps> oh my God, I gotta get more. Okay. The, the, the reborn accessory shop. Um, so, oh, and that's not all. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, baby. It's okay. We take your eyeballs out and you go to sleep. Okay. Then we have this bottle. <clears throat> now, I don't know that this is going to fit in his mouth. Maybe for photos. But it's leaking. And I'm trying to find out where the leaking is coming from. Because if I know where the leaking is coming from... Now, I did run it under water, okay, to rinse it off. Because when, when I had it yesterday um, and I got it, I put it in in the, the bag. It came like in a, um, a plastic bag with a sticker saying, thank you for being a return customer. And I put it in the kitchen sink. So when I came home, it was still in the kitchen sink. I just let it drain into the kitchen sink. So problem is... I don't know where it's leaking from. Now, I think that's the water from me rinsing it, but I think it's not on all the way. But when I try to take it off, it's already glued on. It's kind of like crooked and it's kind of weird because I've never had a problem with her stuff before. So I need to find out. I need to find out where her, I got an email from her while back ago saying she moved her shop to a website, I guess because Etsy was giving her a hard time or something. I need to know where her shop is because I like her stuff. So if anybody can tell me where, oh, these are real, look, Medela. These are not like, these are not, um, Medela uh, was the breast pump stuff I used when Joey was um, 18 years ago, you know? But anyway, so it, this isn't on right. So what I might do is try my damnedest to like undo it, but then like make and seal it back and see. I, I have no idea where she went. I don't have a business card. I think Joey, and Joey's very good about taking out the trash. I think what he did was he threw it out and that was it. Because I don't know when he opened this up exactly. I was just made aware of it yesterday because I don't get the mail. I don't get the mail usually. Usually I don't get the mail and um, I don't take the trash out. And I don't clean his bathroom. He does his own bathroom. But I got to I gotta work with this because I do like this. And I think this would be perfect for photos for him. And I need more passies like that. That's It fits the little mouth. It fits the little mouth. I love that. So um, that is the latest and greatest. With that. That's what I wanted to get on here and show you guys, you know, with this. Um, look at his hair. Like, look how nice his hair is. Now, I combed it the sideways comb. You know what I'm saying? The little old man sideways comb. But um, I don't really know how it's supposed to fall. I just felt like, um, you know. And he's got armatures. He is a, If you're curious, somebody wanted to know um, where I had gotten him from. He is a Jenny Jill baby. Um, Jenny Jill. She is on Facebook. So um, people wanted to know about it. Her The eyes go in and out on these babies. Um, but they're very difficult for me anyway. Um, and I believe Beth at Grandma's Magical, Grandma's Magical Whispers. Why do I feel like that doesn't sound right? Grandma's Magical Whispers Nursery. 
Grandma's match. Why? I worked all night. I'm losing it. I'm freaking losing it. <laughs> anyway, she was saying she was having trouble because she's got a pretty little baby, a little crying baby. Um, you know, and I, so I have not given him a bath. Maybe I should do a video of me giving him a bath, but he's got armatures in his legs and his arms. And he just reminds me of like a baby that was born early. Cause you know, like he has, I'm gonna say it. He does kind of have alien features, you know? Um, but I feel like so do babies born early. It's just the truth. It's just the truth. But his eyes make him look a little angry. So that's my little bunka. My little bunka boo. My bunka boo. And he has his passy too. <laughs> yeah, I'm a nut job, you guys. I have to check on Megan. I have to contact her and see if she's done with my baby yet. She um she was working on her. She's had her a long time, but I mean that's fine. I'm not in any rush. I've got plenty of babies. Um, you know, but. Oh, the little baby, baby. He's so cute. And the fact that, like, he was sculpted and painted by the same person. Like, I think that's really neat. I think that's really neat. Um, You guys, I, like, put this pacifier in him without, like, lubing his mouth up. But I was really careful about it. Yeah, I was careful about it. So he's not damaged or anything. But he's anatomically correct and everything. So go check our babies out. He's even on there somewhere. Um, he had his own little photo out before he got sent off. So, and the vinyl to these babies is like vinyl I have never felt. Totally like I have something I have never felt before. Um, let me go put him up and I will show you the only other. If you don't, if you know me, you know me. If you don't, you don't. So he's got his passy. But I was going to show you something else. Um, hold on. Let me see. The only other silicone that I have, um, I don't know that you guys see her often. Because I'm always scared to touch certain babies. So this one is Melissa. And I named her after me because I felt like that I had spent a good bit on her. Um, and I wanted her to be extra special. Um, and she stays, in fact, this is the clothes she came in. I have changed her since I've gotten her. She is the Presley sculpt painted by Natalie Fakebridge. Um, and I keep her, like her fingers are so like dainty and stuff. I don't want them to break off. <laughs> so I'm really careful with this one and I don't, um, always have her on, you know what I mean? So, and you know, but like, I've kind of been taking a little bit of a mental break from the reborn community. I don't let the drama get to me, you guys. Like, there's so much drama. And you know, people feed into it and people love it. But um, I just, I ain't got time for that. You know what I mean? I noticed a few people I watch, well, I noticed Kelly girl. Is it Kelly girl? Who was it? That went on there and said they're done. I can't remember. I don't watch people. Certain people I watch regularly. But then like other people. I don't. Like I'm hit or miss. Um, the only time I really watch Reborn videos. Is when I come home from work. If I feel like not reading. Or not watching something by. You know like I spent time yesterday. Watching science videos from. You know. What is it? Neil Tyson DeGrasse or whatever his name is. I like watching videos with him in it. Um, I'm somewhat scientific. You know what I'm saying? But like, I don't always watch reborn videos. And when I do, it's hit or miss. But then there's certain people like I watch religiously when I do. So, okay. If I see, um, you know, Sandra pop up and I know when she does a video, she tells me, I go ahead and I watch it, you know? Um, but there are people that I watch regularly. And then there are those that are just hit or miss. And if I like your topic or your title or the baby you got on the picture, the, you know, whatever, I watch it. Um, so, but I've noticed like so much like drama. You guys, this is our hobby. This is our happy place. Don't let it get you down. Don't let it get you down. There's no sense in that. There's no sense in that. 
But um, I have not had taken this pasty out from her mouth in a while. It's probably dry. She has like big lips. Um, but she is a partial silicone. And I remember the first time that I opened her, I was just like in awe. Um, because I've had Amazon silicones. Um, but this partial silicone, like you have to really be careful with her head. Because her head will literally like fall off. Like it literally will fall off. Um, and I keep her very well taken care of. Um, she doesn't get touched a lot. She stays in her own cradle. Now, little guy over there that we just seen, he um he doesn't really have a designated spot yet. I'm trying to work on it. But um I and, and you know, I thought about doing a chat and change today, but I'm not somebody that likes to do chat and change. I just like to talk to you guys. I like to talk to you guys, I like to hang out, I like to tell you how I feel, you know, talk about certain things. You know, you got the holidays, you got Thanksgiving. No, what are we what are we in? I can't even know. I don't even know. I got too busy being beat up last night at work and so much stuff. Okay, so um, Halloween, Halloween. You guys, this is when the Renaissance Fair comes. Um, who is it? Somebody, Angel? I'm bad this morning, you guys. I swear, like, my dementia people are rubbing off on me at work. <laughs> I need to go to bed. Like, somebody went to it. Somebody's going to a Renaissance Fair and they had the coolest Renaissance outfit. And I was like, oh my God, I want to go. Um, they had a, they're having next week a punk flea market fair type deal. And I want to go next week. It's this coming weekend. And it's local, very local. And I want to go. And then in about two weeks, they, they're having a, I want to say a renaissance fair but I'm not 100% sure. Now, with that being said, <laughs> I usually don't participate with dressing up. I just like to enjoy my surroundings. I am not somebody that's going to go all out and dress up. Um, I met, you know, every now and then I may participate in things, but nine times out of 10, you can forget it. Like, I just want to, I just want to be a wallflower. You know what I'm saying? I want to be a wallflower. I want to check out the scene. I want to see what's going on. I want to, you know what I mean? But that's it. Um, so th that's, and then if I go, maybe I'll take some clips. I don't know, but it's nice to do something in the fall related to, you know, cozy fall stuff, you know? Um, but I had to get on here, share some love. I haven't taken any more photos. Oh, let me tell you guys what I'm doing. I gotta tell you what I'm doing. Okay. So I have always wanted to do those like DNA tests, like DNA, like there's DNA DNA three and me or DNA one, two, three. I don't know. But then there's the ancestry one. So ancestry website had a deal like a month ago where you have a three month trial and it's a dollar a month. And then you get the kit for $39, which is the cheapest I've seen it. So I said, you know, that's not bad because if, even if I pay for me and Joe, Joseph, my son, $39, cause you could buy as many kits as you want. $39 a pop right there with it. That's $41. So with the $1, $1, $1, right? Okay. So I was like, that's perfect. That's not $41. That's $81. You guys look at this. Okay. So I was like, that's perfect for less than a hundred dollars. I got a a ancestry for three months and I got me and my son DNA. We got spit in a cup. So me and him like a month ago, we spit in a cup and then the other day I was at work and it came up and I seen the stuff. I seen the, the, the heritages of me and my son. And I was like, whoa. And then I started like filling in my family tree on Ancestry just because there was some already done. And I noticed I had all these matches and there is a man. There's a man on Ancestry and he's about 50 to 60. And... Uh, I think he lives in Florida, but I'm not sure. No, he lives in Colorado. And he shares DNA with me. He shares DNA with me. And it's saying that he's a first cousin, but I don't see it. Because I don't know unless there's some shady stuff going on in the family. And then they said that he could also be an uncle. 
So a first cousin or an uncle, and he shares a lot of DNA with me. So what's going on? Because there's something freaky in the mix. You, you find things out. You know what I'm saying? You find things out. Uh, my dad spit in a cup like a year or two ago, and he found out he was Jewish. We are an Italian family, right? And my mom was like, you're Jewish. <laughs> so, so, of course, you know, I got a little Jew, Jewishness in me, you know? Um, so it's interesting, you know what I'm saying? So I emailed this dude. I can't even remember his name because it's like a weird name. It's like a weird, it's like an Italian name, but it's like real strong Italian. So um, I emailed him and I was like, hey, this is my situation. Da, 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 with my folks, you know, would your father happen to be this person or would you somehow be related to this? So then he shoots names out at me and I'm like, I don't know who these freaking people are. So then I'm like, well, somebody in my family had an affair. Something's going on in my family. Something in the milk ain't clean. You know what I'm saying? Somebody's got secrets because I got a lot of DNA with this fella. And um, I'm the cute one. So I know he's got to be lucky. He's got to be lucky that I'm cute. Because mm, he's an old man. Mm, you know? But he's got to be a cousin or an uncle. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. And then there's all these like potential like in my history it's like it goes back five generations and it's like potential this potential that and i'm like oh my god look at all these names holy cow where did all this come from and um so it was just crazy going through there and seeing all that and that's what i did yesterday i meant to do a video yesterday and yesterday i spent two hours on ancestry figuring out my stuff and i'm not into genealogy like that but Apparently I am because I was like, oh, I'm going to like get myself ready for bed at 11 o'clock because Mondays I go to bed like one and because I sleep Sunday night because I'm off the weekends. I have a little bit of a different schedule on Monday, but I'm telling you something, these DNA tests, mm, you know, you got to be careful. But, um, so yeah, so I've got ancestry for a little while and the lady at work, she did her ancestry. She's a little older than me, but she said in the eighties and nineties, she did her ancestry like in the library and stuff. And she goes back to the pilgrims. I'm like, holy crap. Like, you know, I think mine goes back to like the 1800s, 17, late 17s, 1700s. But hers is like the pilgrims, like the Mayflower and stuff. And I'm like, oh my God. So I don't know, you guys. I'll have to figure out who this fella is because he, he actually uses that site regularly. Like it'll tell you how long they've been a member and how often they access the site. And he does it like every week. It says weekly, you know? So, I mean, I'm not going to like hang on to this or anything, like keep thinking about it, but I'm going to get on Ancestry every now and then. I got it on my phone for now, but because it's like a dollar a month for me and then I'll have to cancel it. But as long as you go ahead and fill out as much as you can with your tree, when you're, when you say you cancel it, you will still have access to your family tree. So... That's good. But as you're a member, I'm I'm guessing you can look up files and see like links and stuff and link people together with you and everything like that. So I got to find out who this guy is and then I'll feel better about things. But I'm not going to like lose sleep over it or anything, you know, you know, I got other things going on. Um, So that's that's what's going on with me. And uh, I don't know, you know, um, Sandra's over here texting me what I like this. That we were talking about her birthday is in November. So you guys, her birthday's in November. We were talking about Christmas and she's asking me, do I want something? She, homegirl knows I'm doing a video right now. But anyway, it's time for me to go. I got to put little Melissa down. Oh, she's so cute. Look, she looks like me. <laughs> she looks better than me. But she has a little jiggle jiggle. <sighs> I'm happy I have her. Okay. All right, you guys. I'm going to go to bed because it's getting late. Before I forget how to get to my bedroom. <laughs> because I'm losing. It. I'm losing. It. I'm losing. It. All right. I'm just acting wackadoodle because um, I need sleep. I need sleep. You can see it in my eyes. Oh, look at those eyes. All right, you guys. Have a great day. And like, subscribe, comment, share. Do your thing. Like the bell. Hit the bell. 
All right, you guys, till next time. Bye.